Line shows here at CE Week. I'm Callie Lewis. And she's Callie Lewis. And he's John P. And John P. again, because I got two. He got to get two. And I'm not the only John we have here. We again? Also, we also have another John joining us from Blue Bolt. Hi guys. How are you? Very good. How are you doing? We're doing excellent. Well. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks yes. for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Blue Bolt is an awesome name, and I love your logo. It's oh, like thanks. A blue, it's like a bolt. Uh, oh, by the way, I have the close-up cam here. Oh, cool. So <laughs> I've got to like show the logo there. Blue Bolt. Yeah. I like it. Represent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what does Blue Bolt actually do? So it's a it's a basically a smart energy platform, um, and uh, we've been doing uh, energy products or power products for about 30 years, and uh, search protection, things like that. And uh, I guess everything's kind of connected these days, right? Yeah, so, yes. yeah, slightly. So, so yeah, exactly. So uh, we're all about connecting your power, connecting your energy, and uh, getting, giving you a platform to control and manage that stuff. So um, we have a cloud-based platform. Uh, so you go online, go to our website, and then we have products that uh, you can control the outlets on, look at how much energy you're using, um, get email alerts, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay. Now this is particularly interesting to me because we have been going through a major uh, energy revolution yeah. at our house. Is that right? We just uh, installed a um, 10 kilowatts uh, of uh, solar power awesome. on the roof. Yeah, great. And when I say just installed it, I mean... It hasn't even been finished, taken up th yet, they right? Have th the, the, wow. the things are all on the roof. Our big uh, inverter, which is going in my garage, would have already been installed, except the garage was also being renovated oh, and so all they kinds were, of stuff going yeah on. they were waiting for the sheetrock but now I'm told the sheetrock's in the paint is in the wall so they're about to put the inverter in we'll flip on the solar array and now I want to turn my attention to the inside of the house sure. because our goal is to be completely free of the grid there you go yeah. so how do we do that we have to watch the usage on every appliance every exactly. everything we yeah. have yeah. and you guys help with that right yeah and that's that's the thing is that you know basically our vision of our of our energy what we see of our energy usage is what we see on our utility bill doesn't really give us a lot of information. No, it doesn't it's, help. It, it doesn't, and, and you know, it could be 40 bucks more than it was last month, and you have no idea why. Yeah, you, right? you're like, why? Yeah. You have no visibility. And and you, when you have a water leak in your house, you know, let's say the toilet's yeah. running or yeah. something's dripping, you, you, you fix it. You guys experienced that as well. Yeah, we did. We yeah. actually had a problem where we were our our water bills were ridiculous. Yeah. We had no idea where the, where the heck is the water leaking. Right. Yeah, and it's the same same kind of thing with the energy, but it's kind of even more invisible. You know, and often you know, a water leak might be something where you hear it dripping or, or yeah. something like that. Or you see a puddle or something. You see, yeah, you, you right. know something's going on or the bill goes up. Yeah. But with energy, it can be hard to track down. So we have devices you can plug right into your outlet, and it'll give you tell you exactly what that outlet is consuming at any given time, tracks it over time. You can set a budget up so that uh, you can get an alert if you're using too much energy more than you wanted to. And you can and set your utility rates. Are those rates. alerts done via like a mobile email. app? Or? Yeah, it's, it's oh, all cloud-based. Okay. So basically, it's all, all a website. And okay. uh, the website, we make it plug and play so you can set the hardware up very easily. Uh, but you can get to the website over you know, your, your phone, your any web-enabled device, your computer. So it's all up in the cloud. Well, uh, just a comment from the chat room. Uh, somebody said, let's see, guest uh, said that you guys are a great blessing for a custom installer. I <laughs> guess he's a custom installer. So that's a... <laughs> Singing your praises there. Fantastic, yeah, <laughs> we, we, that's really our roots. Um, uh, we have a couple brands, Panamax and Furman. Yep. Furman, might, uh, some people might be familiar with uh, from the music industry. So we're, you know, if you go to a show, uh, you're probably gonna see a, a power conditioner in a rack with pull-out lights, it's all over the place. That's what Furman does. So we protect the musicians so the show goes on. And then, yeah, the custom install, the, the guys, you know, your home theater. Yeah. You gotta make sure that stuff's protected because there's yeah. all kinds of oh, yeah. dirty stuff out there. It's not just lightning. But uh, but everything else. So so now you know we're taking all that experience and then you know getting 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 connected, getting up in the cloud, getting some information so that we can all be more informed about our energy. So tell us about the products that you're showing off here at the show. Are they brand new? They're or? brand new. Yeah, they're, they're they started shipping about a month ago. Okay. Um, so what we have, the way this works, is you have a gateway, and uh, this gateway uh, it connects to your uh, modem or router, you know, hardwire over Cat5, and it yeah. creates a wireless network. We use Zigbee. Uh, okay. Communications, yeah. all right. So this just plugs in. You, you go onto the website and you claim it. There's like a challenge key here, and you claim the device. 
and then you put it into joining mode on the interface, and then you join up up to 15 of these guys to one gateway. If you need more than that, you can get a second gateway, but it's 15 per gateway. Um, so, uh, and then you can name the outlets, you can name all devices, so you can, uh, you know, if you wanted to, you can change, uh, trade out every outlet in your house and put one of these on, get two outlets out, however you want to do it, or just really focus on your most important stuff. Um, it's also got search protection built in and AC filtering, so uh, noise filtering built in. Okay, so this has two plugs, one on each side. Yep. We would pair I, I'm this. I'm sorry, just as a geek, I, I totally. want to, can I? Yeah, don't, okay. go for it. And I'll tell you what, 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 the, what that's all about, just give it a good yank. You're not going to break it. There you go. It. Cool. So oh, you this can, is so you can screw it. Screw on. it into the wall. So you can screw it onto the uh, Securely yeah, fasten yeah. it onto the wall. Awesome. Now, nice. one use for that, and I, I don't like to be this guy, but if the kids, uh, you know, they're supposed to be doing their homework, and they're playing the, the game console at, you know, 5 o'clock, you can schedule this to turn off. Oh, yeah. Screw it to the wall. Then you need oh, a yeah. really long extension cord. It's going to be noticeable if it gets off. So family control is a piece of it. You know, it's not... not it's a little bit, uh, you know, uh, underneath the radar. It's yeah. more about being good about energy management, not sure, having sure, the kids sure. have yeah. less fun. But it is an application that we, we yeah. talk about. Now, if so, I can hook. I, I just want to review. I can get 15 of these per that device. per one of these. Yeah, to one of these. If I need more than 15, I get another one of these. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but we can still control multiple of these through a single, single web interface. interface. That's right. Yeah, so, and that was something that was very important to us because coming from the custom install industry where, um, you know, there's a lot of static IP where you set up a device and you go into that device itself, but you got to remember the login credentials for every single device. Yeah. We wanted a place where people could go and for, especially for an installer, they could have multiple locations or somebody might have a vacation home and a primary residence that they want to go and they don't want to remember how to get to everything and have a million passwords. We got enough of those already, right? Yeah. So just one place to go and see everything. So you can see you know, all your locations and then you go into the locations, you can see all the devices within that location all through one interface. Okay, so, so sorry, let me ask. Lots of questions coming yeah, in. So. Is the, uh, the web interface, is that being generated by like this device and we're logging that or is it on your web server? It's, it's hosted by us. Okay. Hosted on the cloud by us. So we create like a username, yep. password yep. combination. You create login. an account, which is a word I hate to use because it sounds like you have to pay for something. So it's a free account. Yep. Free you know, account. just it's an yeah. account. Yep. <laughs> Log in, uh, you know, we have password, that that kind of thing. Okay. okay. Uh, coming from the chat room, uh, is it just energy usage or water as well? Uh, it's, it's, uh, this is just uh, energy. But we you have, have other products that... Uh, uh, yeah, are. underneath our core brands portfolio, right. which, you know, we have several different brands. Um, that we have uh, other integrated systems, so, such as our Elan G system. Elan G is a full home automation system. You get irrigation, you get security, you get cameras, you get climate, thermostat, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So that's a, And that's actually, we're integrating these all together. We're currently in it, so right now Blue Beetle's kind of standalone as your energy management platform, but we're integrating all this into the G platform, for example, and then Blue Bolt integrates with you know, all the home automation systems out there. Yeah. So let me tell you what I want. Can okay. You tell me if this is possible. Okay. This is the world I want to live in. Okay, we're going to make it happen. Okay. So tell <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. The John P. edition, if nothing else. Right. <laughs> so at our house, we, we consume three different types of, of ongoing, uh, you know, services, let's call it. We get electricity, we get gas, and we get water. Okay, right, sure. What I'd love to do is have a single interface that if I log into it, I can see, A, how much aggregate consumption did we have, and maybe tie it back to a bill so I could put sure. a monetary value on it. Then B, I'd like to see where that consumption occurred on any of the products. So water, for example. How much of our water bill came from my pool? How much came from my, yep. in my personal shower or from the guest shower? How much gas did the heater uh, consume versus the stove top? How far away do you think we are from a world where I can do that? So what you're saying is you want to be able to make informed decisions on how you Silly spend your me. money? Actually, what he's saying is that if his guest is, is in the shower too long, he wants <laughs> to be right. yeah, There's that too, yeah. You can have a lot of fun with this stuff. Well, see, no, it's, and what, what you want is what the federal government wants. It's what the utilities want. And that really is where it starts. It's the utilities. Um, because the utilities, 
Uh, do you have a smart grid on your house right now? Do you know? If you, I mean, uh, I actually. Oh, I'm sorry. A smart meter, not a smart grid. A smart, a smart meter. meter I, yeah. yeah, I think we do have okay. one. It's okay. all digital, and I think it gives them the feedback. Right. Yeah. So well, I live in California, and uh, you know we have a very progressive utility there. We've had a smart meter for about two years. So the smart meter is getting rolled out nationwide. So that old rolling meter they have on the side of your house, this is for gas and electric. Yep. It's going away, and they're putting in the smart meters, and the smart meters communicate. So they're smart because they are able to send back to the mothership. They don't need to send to have people come out and read the meters anymore. And they're collecting all the information about your usage, about everybody's usage. I know it sounds kind of with big what's brother. going on a little bit. Big Very brother. NSA like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's not go there. Uh, it's, but it's not. It's it's, it's somewhat no. benign, and they you know they're trying to. The issue that the utilities are running into right now that's a big problem is that there's going to be too much demand on the grid. There's the populations, yeah. there's too many devices, yeah. and they can't build enough power plants to support it. And it's not that there's too much demand uh, all the time, it's that at certain times of the day, there's a peak demand and they, there's people drying their clothes and turning on their air conditioners. New York City, great example in the summer. It's hot and people are drying their clothes and there's just too much right now, but six hours from now, there's gonna, it's going to be flat. And the other thing too is, there's a lot of inefficient stuff happening. Tremendous that, that actually, if people were aware of it, right. they'd be like, oh, I'll turn that off, or right. I would happily automatically turn that off. But, but not this. But I don't yeah. know it. I, you don't know, so, so you don't there's do not, it. Right, and then there's, and there's, and it's hard for consumers to get that information mm -hmm. right now. Yep. And, it's, uh, and, and the utilities have lots of different programs, opt-in programs, so, but the adoption rate isn't really high on that. Yep. So what the smart grid ultimately is all about. And of course, water and gas are the same exact it's thing. It's the same deal. It's, it's all resources. Yeah, exactly. It's all resources and we're paying for the ability to use these resources which we need to survive. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, ultimately what's going to happen, this is pretty much the plan in place, is that the utilities are going to move to dynamic pricing structures where they're going to charge more. They're going to be very communicative about this, but they're going to charge more at certain times of the day when it's costing them more to generate energy because there's so much on the grid. And they're going to try to spread that demand out. Yep. So that's where these kind of products come in, is that there, there, there's a, something called demand response, where you can set up certain products, certain outlets in your house, certain appliances to be demand response, where they say, okay, we're going into high gear right now, and uh, it's going to be the time of use right now, the billing is going to go higher. So automatically shut off the dryer, we're not going to dry clothes. Yep. So it's all going to be connected. Once again, going back to that connectability, communications, we'll have more information from the utility and uh, we'll be able to tap in to see exactly what our whole house is using and when um, in real time. So this awesome. is all stuff that's happening right now, but it starts with the utility and all this infrastructure is getting in place. That's what the smart grid is. Yeah. And I think on the other side, we've got to wrap it up, but I, I, what I'd like to see happen is on the other side, I'd like to see the device manufacturers build in some, you know, maybe Zigbee or one Z-Way, one of right. the standards. I like to see them build in a communication feedback and loop we're, mechanism. We're, and that's starting to happen. Man. Every yeah. single device should have it. This camcorder, this tablet, they should all be able to communicate yeah, back I agree. to a device like this yeah. and say, hey, just so you know, here's what I'm doing. Yeah. That would be so awesome. Yeah, it really would. And that's, it, and that's where it's going. And everything is going to be connected. Um, and right now, there's a bit of a standards war going on in this whole thing. Yep. That's I have natural. A, Though in new in like My new joke world, is that so. which, whichever automation system the porn industry chooses, that's what we'll go with. That's right, on. exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Let's um, not go there. <laughs> but but a lot of stuff is still shaking out, but the manufacturers, the federal government, and the utilities, and everybody wants the same thing. We want us to be connected, be informed, and be able to make good decisions. So. Awesome. So for people who want this particular system in their own house, yes. as they are talking about in the chat room, what are they looking for when they go to bluebolt.com? Uh, so we have dealer, dealer locator. We're kind of sold through specialty retailers, a lot of custom installers, sell our stuff. Um, this is a $99 retail, okay. and these are 120 bucks. Okay. Um, so you can find them. They are available now. You can find them online also. And I, okay. I'm sorry, it's mybluebolt.com. Mybluebolt.com, yeah. Not what I said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. It was yeah. great. Great Glad conversation, and I uh, hope you have a great rest of the show. Right. Norm will get you taken care awesome. of here.